that's natural because it's a, it's a natural interest and it has been for 30 years. As we turn from civil rights for African Americans, the interest of course turned to slavery and slavery at the period of the founding. And so the, there has been a lot of interest in America in how the founding fathers dealt with slavery. Uh, for the first part of the 20th century, we didn't discuss it very much, but then by the 1970s and 80s, it came in for very extensive discussion. And we do have some much better material on how they dealt with slavery individually. Because it represents the great American contradiction. It was uh, the promise of liberty, the promise of uh, uh, equal rights for all, and uh, the contradiction was that uh, many of the people who uh, wrote those documents and signed them held slaves. And so it is the great American contradiction. It's been uh, the beginning of what I think most historians consider one of the great uh, problems in American life, maybe the, perhaps the greatest. It hadn't been questioned. It was a pre-modern world before the 1760s, really, and there was very little questioning of slavery. They, it was almost something that had arisen on its own as to meet economic needs, uh, almost, um, I won't say accidentally, but it had, in stages, it had developed over a century, and no one had questioned it. And only with uh, the coming of uh, the Enlightenment uh, and the Great Awakening, the religious movement in America, did we begin to question the owning of slaves, of whether one person could possess another person, uh, whether one person could hold another person in bondage when uh, all people were equal before God. And so those ideas uh, began to trouble slaveholders. But it was a new phenomenon. It wasn't strong. It wasn't yet, uh, it didn't have the kind of strength uh, that it would later develop. It, it, was, it was new to question slavery by the time of the American Revolution. Well, not that it wasn't unheard of, but it was a, a new phenomenon.